Hi there, I'm Roger Lee from Art Framer in Kelowna, and I'd like to introduce you to Linda Norman. Linda is a watercolorist living in Kelowna, and she's got marvelous things to share with you about her process, where it comes from, and where it's going, and everything about Linda. I certainly want to know more. Good, thank you. So can you tell us uh, about your experience in mentoring or with mentors and you know that part of the creative process? You bet. Mentoring and encouraging and, and um, gently directing uh, creatives in, in what their pursuit might, might look like yeah, is, is huge. It's yeah. huge. And I think we've all had mentors, whether we've recognized it or not in our, mm -hmm. in our lives. Yes. And uh, it's something I've always done. Yeah. Um, it's, it's the sharing of, yeah. of the, the skill set, the knowledge, the, the, um, the philosophy even yeah. behind why we do what we do. Yeah. And uh, a few years back I was contacted by the Seniors Artwork, Artists Network of Canada mm -hmm. and began a, a, a role as a mentor in the community and so uh, was privileged to mentor uh, um, Lady Dia, uh, oh. she became, uh, that was through Culture Days and we did a project called Ubuntu oh, and yes, it was course. music and, and for the youth uh, yeah. in, in her community. Yes, Lady Dia is another creative. Uh, she is a spark. A uh, spark. Absolutely. Uh, a wonder, a, a force of nature. Yeah, she was right. Kelowna's artist in residence yeah. a couple of years back and her husband Trophy. Her husband Trophy is a visual artist yes, as well as a, a musician. Painter, yep. yep, and he's been on some of our exhibits. Lovely, um, yeah. And so uh, she was the first person that I mentored officially I didn't through that know organization. That. Isn't that neat? Yeah. yeah, and then I've gone on to mentor others. Um, the most recent was a photographer based out of Calgary, but did most of his work out of uh, um, California, oh, right. and uh, he was an aerial photographer. Hmm. And so that was a that was a year process mm. and uh, because of the distance we we zoomed and and Good. phoned and and got through that and and so it was it was a really lovely opportunity to to do that at a, a more far-reaching level mm. but locally um, yeah we've taken and mentoring is different from instructing I was thinking Absolutely. of sort of the encouragement the massaging the the, the guidance as opposed to sometimes the critical hand of, of instruction. Exactly. Uh, so a safe, a safe place to call when you need some advice or, or yes. need some encouragement. Um, I mentor Asher uh, Metcalf. He's a young DJ in, in town. Oh, right. Um, and so... You go uh, anywhere, don't you? Huh. You know, it's just... If, if someone asks for help, if I can give it, I'm, I'm happy to do that. Yeah. You know. And you mentored me last year, about this time when I was starting to set up my uh, art framer business. Oh, from the business you end were, of things, yeah. You know, I have sort of this you know, tendency to just dive in and try to do everything myself, but it was so nice to have you, not just once, you, you repeatedly asked, is there anything I can help you with? And it finally clicked, oh, I can use some help. But you, you know, you bring something to the table in that way that is definitely uh, positive. You've got a positive influence and uh, oh, well, thank the way you. you respond and the way you guide. Thank it's you, I appreciate that. It's not just anybody helping, you know, mentoring you. I, got something uh, unique that's good Thank you. Um, good there. I, I worked for several years with the Women's Enterprise Center of British Columbia and uh, my role there was to help women in business throughout the entire province mm. to, to, to start their businesses. Yeah. So, you know, worked on resources, how to find what they need yeah. in terms of everything from registering the business to finding uh, assistance along the way, writing that business plan, mm -hmm. um, those kind of things. So um, that, was, that was a really rewarding yeah. uh, position. And I, and I mean, mentoring them, I learned a lot too. Yes. And so I've been able to help a lot of artists yeah. sort of established that business end of things. Probably uh, the unsung or the unknown, uh, or the, the unrealized part of mentoring is it really is a two-way street. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Because yeah. we all absorb from each other. When we've opened, when you're, you're somebody that somebody trusts and they open up to you, that opening also is reciprocal. Huh? Well, and it's that safe Mutually place. Truly rewarding. It's yeah. that safe place. And then going back to our coffee house, 
you know, that's, I think, why we saw so many collaborations and so many beautiful things come out of that, because the audience came and was so appreciative of people who, you know, first time stepping out of their basement with their ukulele, or, yeah. or um, I had a, you know, a lady contact me, she was 88, and she messaged me and said, I've always wanted to do stand-up comedy. Oh, wow. And so I invited her to the open mic. Right. She just blew everybody away. No kidding. Made her day, <laughs> made our day, you know, and, yeah. and so it's providing opportunities. Yeah. You know? Um, when I was at the Marmalade Cat last year sometime when my sister Davina, who, you know, she's been with me, we've been musical our whole lives. And I think it might have been the first time she did a set by herself with her guitar of the songs she had written. Yeah. And that had never happened before. And, you know, I just, it was something incredibly beautiful and moving. I think everybody was kind of getting misty because mm -hmm. of the nature of her, of what she offers. And, uh, yeah. The beauty of it, yeah, and that was just such a remarkable moment. Yeah. yeah, and so to be able to provide those opportunities, whether you know whether the person experiencing that takes it any further, yeah, that's that's up to them. But at least they get to to feel yeah that feel little feel bit that of that wind, and maybe I can ride that wind. Yeah, yes, absolutely, I can. Yeah. absolutely, yeah, yeah. We have a beautiful community, and and yeah. you know, as as we uh, as my uh, website, you know, alludes to, and we yeah. should celebrate that every day, and, and that's kind of what, what has sort of spilled over into the Arts Council yes. as well. It's about the celebration um, and acknowledging uh, the beauty that uh, that we all... And yeah, the diversity that yep. exists here, because there are so many different mindsets, different, uh, yeah. oh, there's cultural differences here, there's... Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's harmony here in, in many, many ways, a very har harmonized region uh, and community. And, but wow, there's, there's sparkles, sparkles all the way through it. Mm -hmm. If you look deeper, the deeper you look, you realize there's a great spectrum of uh, stuff here that can be mined, again, like jewels. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, you bet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you for staying with us for this marvelous encounter with Linda Norman. If you want to know more, you can subscribe to this channel and, of course, check out my website, artframer.net.